it's homework time, yes? Here we go again. Lesson seven, let's start out the right way. Write our name down at the top of the paper. Wait, wait, wait. Don't write my name. Write yours. I'll write my name. And then let's jot down today's date. All right, today, you write the actual date where and when you are in this wonderful world of ours. Our instructions for number one, write a decimal number sentence. That'll go right here to identify the total value of the place value disk. Pretty straightforward here. Look, we have three tens. What's the value of three tens? Yeah, 30. 10, 20, 30. Okay. Same thing here. Ah, notice there are no ones. Okay, there don't have to be. We're going right to tenths. There are one, two, three, four tenths. Now, how do we write four tenths? Well, we place a zero in the ones place with our decimal point and then put a four in the tenths place. That's how we write four tenths because we're instructed to write it as a decimal. As a fraction would be four over ten. And now we do have hundredths. We have two hundredths. And so we place a zero in the ones place to just so the number doesn't look weird. Decimal point. We have no tenths here. We're just looking at the two hundredths. Great. There we are. So now we have, you can actually read the number here just by going straight across. 30 and 42, what place are we in? Hundredths. 30 and 42 hundredths. So that's what I'll write. Watch. 30, when I say and, I write the decimal point, and 42, what place am I in? Hundredths. 30 and 42 hundredths. Let's do another one. Here we have hundreds. And note, this is kind of silly here. Look, one, two, three, four, five, and yet it says four hundreds. So what I'm going to do, this is an error. We don't see very many. I think there's a second one we've seen all year uh, where they actually make a little mistake here in Eureka land. So I'm going to uh, obliterate one of these because it says four hundreds. I'm going to go with the written here. Um, that's a mistake on your homework, thanks to Eureka. All right, so don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Everybody makes mistakes, me and you too. All right, so four hundredths. So that's simply four hundred, right? And now, where's, there are no tens, no ones, not even any tenths. We're going all the way to hundredths. So how many hundredths do we have? There are three of them. So look up at two hundredths. So three hundredths will be written the same way. Zero ones, decimal point, zero tenths but three hundredths. Notice the connection to money. That's how we'd write three pennies, three cents, three hundredths of a dollar. Of a dollar. So four hundredths and three hundredths is actually how we'd read this and how we'd write it. We'd write four hundred and, means decimal point, three in the hundredths place. So I need a zero to hold that tenths place and then three in the hundredths place. Beautiful. Let's go on. And here in number two, we're just looking at place value, but now with decimals. Um, you were probably asked the question in class, hey, how is this place value chart different from place value charts back from the beginning of the year, like in module one and two and three? Well, the difference is now we have this decimal point and tenths and hundredths. So otherwise, it's the same thing, quite familiar. The digit what is in the hundreds place? Hundreds place, we have an eight. All right, don't make this... More difficult than it needs to be. It has a value of, what's the value of 8 in the hundreds? 800. That's it. That's all we're doing here. What digits in the tens place? Looks like a 2 to me. What do you say? All right. We agree. It's a 2. What's the value of 2 in the tens place? 2 tens is 20. What digits in the tenths? Notice we're skipping ones. They did this on the problem set, too. We're going right to the tenths place. What digit is there? There is a six. Now, six in the tenths place is the same idea. Six tenths. Now, how do we write that? Okay, well, we have a zero for the ones, just to make the number look normal. Decimal point, and now we're going to the tenths place and saying, hey, there are six of those. That's how you write six tenths. Look at the hundredths place. What digit is there? A four, it has a value of, well, four in the hundredths, four hundredths. And to write that, we again have a zero in the ones place, decimal point, but now we have no tenths that we're noting. So zero tenths and four hundredths. And that's, if students make any mistake here, it's with this right here, that they'll write 0 0.4. 
But that would be four tenths, right? That's a four in the tenths place. But what we're supposed to have and what we do have is a four in the hundredths place. So that zero in the tenths place is simply, hey, there are zero tenths. Let's go on to number three. Oopsie, talking about making mistakes. Yeah, so there actually is not number three yet. We still have another set here for number two. Different number, same idea. And notice again, we're doing hundreds, tens, skipping over the ones, tenths, and then hundreds. So what digit is in the hundreds place? Looks like a three to me. What do you say? Yep, it has a value, three hundreds. Okay, we're not going to belabor it this time. We're going to kind of cruise through this one, all right, because we just did it. What's in the tens place? I'd say that's a four. What do you say? All right. Four tens we write as, yes, indeed, 40. What's in the tenths place? Skipping down here to tenths. I'd say one. What think you? It has a value one tenth, one tenth, and we write that as zero decimal point one. What digit is in the hundredths place? I'd say nine. What's the value of nine hundredths? Well, it's nine hundredths. And how do we write that? Well, zero decimal point, zero in the tenths place, nine in the hundredths place. Beautiful. Now we can go on to number three. Well, number three, they're really going to make us sing for our supper. There's a lot of work to do here. So look at our directions, and we'll look at this first one that's been done for us as well at the same time. So we're to write each decimal. Here's the decimal we're given. Okay as an equivalent fraction. Here's the one that they do for us. Okay. Then write each number in expanded form. Here's fraction expanded form, decimal expanded form, with multiplication and then without multiplication. So there's a decent amount of writing to do here. On the plus side, I think you'll find this relatively straightforward. So let's whoosh, dive right in. 25 and 3 Tenths is how we read that number as a math number. Not uh, We can say 25.3 if, if we're talking about how do I write this. We write it as 25 decimal point three, 25.3. When we're reading that as a number, we say 25 and 3 tenths. And the advantage of that is it also tells you exactly how to write it as a mixed number. So 25 and, now here comes the fraction, 3 tenths. Okay, so common mistake here is to write like 25 times 1, but we have to separate out each little place, okay? So we have how many tens? Two tens, so 2 times 10. And adding to that, how many ones? Well, it'll be 5 ones, so 5 times 1. And notice we're doing the fraction, fra blah, 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 fraction notation, so now we're getting to the fraction, and we have 3 tenths. So that means, hey, it's 3 times 1 tenth is how we expand that out. Beautiful. And then to do the expanded form without the multiplication, we simply do the multiplication. So this is 2 times 10 is 20, and 5 times 1 is 5, and this, we already know, is 3 tenths. See that? Now, beautiful part is that since we've done that, the decimal notation is essentially the same thing. We just write the fractions as decimals. So the whole numbers are going to start off the same way. So, yeah, I can copy from myself here. I can say, all right, it's 2 times 10 plus 5 times 1. That stays the same. And, in fact, this st stays the same as well, except for one little thing. 3 times 1 tenth, I'm, so I'm going to write as 3 times decimal form 1 tenth. And down here, it's going to look the same as well with that one exception. It'll still be 20 plus 5. My whole numbers are written the same way in fraction and decimal notation. But here, it's going to be 3 tenths. So 0 0.3, 3 tenths as a decimal. Let's look at the next one. Read it as a math number. 39 and 7, what place is it in? Hundredths. And that's exactly how I'll write my mixed number. 39 and, here comes the fraction, 7, 7 what? It's in the hundredths place, 7 hundredths. So if this were money, you'd say $39.07, 39 and 7 hundredths. Got it? All right, and we're going to do the same idea here for uh, busting out an expanded form. We have three tens, right? So three tens. And how many ones do we have? Nine ones. And what do we have in fraction land? We have seven 
hundredth. So that's seven times one hundredth. And again here, to do the expanded form without the multiplication, we just do the multiplication. So 3 times 10 is 30, and this is 9. We could just look back at our original number, and this is 9, and this is what? Look at the fraction form, 7 hundredths. There we are. So a couple ways of looking at this. Again, in decimal land, it's going to start out the same way. The only thing that will change is this 1 one hundredth will be written as a decimal, and this 7 hundredths will be written as a decimal. So it will be... Yep, just copying from ourselves 3 times 10 plus 9 times 1. And this isn't senseless copying, by the way, so you understand that, hey, numbers are, whole numbers are written the same way. It's an important thing to know. Um, and now this will be 7 times 100th written as a decimal. In case you're forgetting how to do that, look, it's right up here. 0 0.01. So 7 pennies, 7 cents, 7 hundredths is what we're talking about. And so again, our expanded without uh, multiplication will be 30 plus 9. And the only thing that changes here is this number will be written as a decimal 7 hundredths, 0 0.07. Beautious. We got a little bit more of this. All right, and this is just more of the same. So I'll tell you, I'm not going to do as much explaining here. I'm just going to kind of move right on through here. Nice if I plugged it up there. That's better. 40. And, and then we simply have, that's right, six tenths. So six times one tenth. See, you thought these were going to get harder, and uh, they're actually not. So what's this in uh, expanded form without the multiplication? We just do the multiplication. So it's 40, right? Four times 10 is 40. And, well, six times one tenth, we know. Look at the fraction form. It's six tenths. Decimal is going to be the same, except we write the fractions as decimals, so it'll start out identically. We can copy from ourselves. 4 times 10 plus 6 times, well, how are we going to write that 1 tenth? That's right, my friends, as a decimal. 0 0.1, 1 tenth. And then we just do the multiplication, 40 and 6 tenths. Beautiful. Look at this one. We have a well, let's read the number first, and without saying point, we'll say and. 208 and 90, what place are we in now? Hundredths. Okay, so let's break this down. So we have two, what? Two hundreds. And then we have, well, no tens, so we'll just gloss over that. And as with expanded form back at the beginning here, when there's a zero, you don't write zero times ten, right? We just gloss right over it. Um, and then we have 8 times, well, it's in the 1's place, so 1. And then we have 9 in the 10th's place, but the way we're going to look at this is because it's 90 hundredths, we're going to write this as 9 times 1 hundredth. Now, you would not be wrong to say 9 times um, 1 tenth. I'm sorry, I apologize. That should be 90 times one hundredth. It would also be correct. So let me actually write it here as well. I can call this nine times one tenth. I actually want you to see that this is the same thing. This is nine dimes, nine times one tenth. This is ninety pennies. They're both ninety cents. So to write this out then, it's two hundred. Eight times one, yep, eight. And then this I can call, well, let's call it 90 hundredths. How's that? Because that is what we're actually given here is 90 hundredths. I know regardless of what I just said about zeros. All right, so our decimal form will look the same except the fractions will be written as decimals. So we'll start off identically copying from ourselves 2 times 100 plus 8 times 1 plus, and again, I'm going to do it both ways here so that you can see. This is 90 hundredths, or I can call this nine tenths, nine times one tenth. Both are correct here. Um, then we have, and without the multiplication, we just do the multiplication, so 208, same as over there, 90 hundredths, we just write 0 0.90. 
And that's why I insist on doing the 90 times 100th here, because this right here, what I just wrote, isn't that what we were actually given? We weren't given 208.9. We were given 208.90, and that actually is a different thing. It has a level of precision to the hundredths place. Fortunately, we don't have that happening again. So let's look at five, let's read the number as a number, saying and instead of point. 510 and seven, what place is it in? Hundredths. So as a fraction, that's exactly what I write. It'd be nice if they gave me more, more room here. 510 and seven hundredths. Be very careful. Okay, good. So I have five what? Yeah, that's in the hundredths place. And then I have that one is in what place? That's right, tens, one times 10. And then I just have that seven, right? I can ignore those two places. I don't have to write out zero times anything. It's pointless. I have seven in the hundredths place. So seven times the fraction one hundredth. And to do it without the multiplication, I just do the multiplication. So five times 100 is 500. One times 10 is 10. And we already know from looking at our mixed number that the value of this seven times one hundredth is seven hundredths. Sometimes I get tongue-tied. And our decimal form will start off the same way, five times one hundred. Told you this was a lot of writing. Don't blame me, yo. I don't, I don't make up this stuff. I just do it right. I'm suffering right alongside you, brother and sister. Starts off the same way. The only thing that will be different here is this one hundredth. And the seven hundredths will be written as decimals. Okay, so seven times, well, how do we write one hundredth as a decimal? Zero point zero one, correct. One penny, one cent, one hundredth. And then same thing down here as we did in fraction form, except, so 500 plus 10. Now when we get to the seven hundredths, we'll write that as a decimal, zero point zero seven. I'm just joking. Don't actually say it that way. People look at you the way they look at me, and that's, yeah. All right, so you think this would be the hardest one. There's actually only two numbers, or two digits, that we have to record in this number. So it's actually one of the easiest ones. So 900 and 9, what place is it in? Hundredths. 900 and 9 hundredths. That's how you'd actually read this number. And so we have a 9 in the hundredths place. That's 9 times 100, and then we have a 9 in the hundredths place. So as a fraction, 9 times 1 hundredth. 9 times 100 is 900, and 9 times 1 hundredth. Oh, we forgot to do this over here. Let's jump back, Jack. 900 and 9 hundredths. Write it out. And, and the reason I realize that is because this is what we write right here. Nine times one hundredth is nine hundredths. Thanks, Jack. And over in decimal land, it's going to start off the same way. Nine times one hundred. And the only thing that'll change here, plus nine times one hundredth will be written, the one hundredth will be written as a decimal, 0 0.01. And then same thing here, it'll be nine hundred but the nine hundredths will be written as a decimal as 0 0.09, that's nine hundredths. Well, look at what you've gone and done again. You've completed another homework time. See you again next time. It's once again, homework time.